Baruch Hashem, today is day number 48 of our daily study of Rabbam Sefer Mitzvahs. In the three chapters a day of Mishnah Torah, we are in Hilchas Erevin, chapters 3, 4, and 5. And as mentioned yesterday, Hilchas Erevin is entirely a rabbinic concept. It does not correspond to any one of the 613 biblical commandments. We explained that yesterday. However, we do have a commandment to study today. Uh, we, have to, we have to study something. So we're going to do a mitzvah, this is part of, this is what the, the mitzvah is in the schedule, that we've, we've done already. And uh, you'll see how it's related to Erev. And if you don't see, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit. But here we go. We did this mitzvah about a week ago when we were in Hilchus Shabbos. And here it is. Negative commandment number 320. Do not do any productive, creative acts on Shabbos. So we had that before when we were doing the laws of Shabbos. We're doing it again now because we need a biblical commandment to study that's related to Erev. How is it related to Erev? Well, the concept of an Erev is related to the prohibition against carrying or transporting articles in the public domain, which that is um, a prohibition that would be considered a malacha, a productive, creative act on Shabbos. So it's connected to the prohibition against performing a malacha, a productive, creative act on Shabbos. Okay. Now, I want to explain something which is very, very elementary. It almost feels like it doesn't need to be explained, but my experience has shown me that a lot of people don't know this. And where I've encountered it, unfortunately, is often in a context of cynicism where people, I'll, I'll, I'll just be blunt here, they speak derisively of the concept of Erov as a loophole. God forbid. They refer to it as a a loophole, like, oh, who, who do you think you're tricking? God told you not to carry, and now you figured out a way to carry. <sighs> God forbid. Okay. So I'll explain. And this is the most basic concept of, of the Eruv, and that is the Eruv cannot permit one to do anything that is biblically forbidden. You cannot carry in a Biblical public domain. It can't be done. And therefore, putting an aid of in such a domain would be completely ineffectual, would not, would not even count as an aid of. The aid of is a rabbinic leniency to relieve you from a rabbinic stringency. In other words, the rabbis told us we're not even allowed to carry in areas that biblically we are allowed to carry in. It's called a Carmelis. And in this area that the only prohibition against carrying there to begin with is rabbinic, so therefore the relief from that, the exemption, can also be rabbinic. So the permission granted to carry within an Erev is only a permission to do something that the rabbis themselves prohibited, but then when they prohibited it, they gave also the way of remedying it. But it does not allow one to do something that's biblically prohibited, God forbid. So I just wanted to clarify that because, unfortunately, it's um, very commonly misunderstood. Okay, we're going to continue with uh, the laws of Edom. Tomorrow, God willing, we'll see you then.